Hi, everyone. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. Uh, I thought I would address our immune system, boosting our health, avoiding sickness. There's just so much information out there that is trying to make people just so afraid of this virus and spreading of germs. And I think this fear mongering that they're they're doing is actually causing more harm than good. And even doctors have been coming out lately uh, in, in major health organizations and saying that this is detrimental to society with all of this news, um, fear mongering us. So uh, a few easy things that you can do in your daily life that can help you stay well, help you avoid sickness. One of the things that I think is really important and that has of course been shown over decades and uh, that just washing your hands and doing that frequently is a great thing to do. I think there's a lot of misinformation about killing germs or using antibacterial soaps and things like that. And in fact, in 1914, uh, no, 2014, I apologize. 2014, the FDA actually came out and said that after 42 years of research, antibiotic soaps and things like that were actually more detrimental than, to your health than using normal soaps and that they were not any more effective. In fact, they can be more harmful. And one of the reasons is these antibacterials they go through our skin and go straight to the bloodstream. And what that is like is that's like taking an antibiotic every time you put something like that on your skin. Well, antibiotics are anti-life. So they are non-selective and they kill everything. So our immune system is quite literally made up of probiotics, which are pro-life and those are good bacteria and so anything that is going to wipe out all life all bacteria is also wiping out your immune system and that is something that we should avoid doing because our good bacteria our immune system is what keeps these bad bacteria at bay so you know one of the ingredients in these antibacterial soaps and uh, germ gels and things like that is triclosan. And triclosan can do all kinds of harmful things to us, including uh, wiping out our immune system, but also it can mimic your thyroid hormone and it can cause hormone damage. Uh, there's also been studies that says that uh, children who are exposed to these antibacterial soaps and gels are also more apt to have allergies, asthmas, uh, allergies towards peanuts, things like this, and yet they are not more effective. And I wanna emphasize that. This is not more effective. It is actually harmful because it breaks down your own immune system and destroys it. So one of the things you can do is replace all your soaps with something that has natural antibacterial, antiviral properties to it that does not harm your immune system. So one of the ones I have here, and I'm not promoting this in any way, but I just like this brand because it doesn't leave soapy residue on your skin. But this one has got peppermint oil in it. And there are quite a few essential oils that are naturally antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. And if you get some of these clean, organic soaps that have these types of properties in them, I think they're more effective. And the studies quite literally show that if you just wash your hands really well no, using normal soap, it works as good, if not much better, than these antibacterial soaps. So, you know, using uh, things that have some of the essential oils that are top antiviral, antibacterial are tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, lemon, pine, peppermint, cinnamon, 
lavender and clove and oregano. And so some of these smell really nice. And so that aromatherapy, making you feel happy and joyful, that's also good for your immune system. And then adding some probiotics to your diet is really important. And so I, I run out because I've been uh, homemade raw, organic, fermented sauerkraut. So fermented foods that have natural antibacterial properties in them, those support your immune system. Those add more probiotics to your system, which are your immune system. So this is very important to do. Uh, you can also buy uh, probiotics that you can add to your smoothie or you can add it to uh, applesauce or, or to foods or just take a you know, a teaspoon of it a couple of times a day and supplement your body's immune system with this good bacteria. What's happened is the overuse of antibacteria, different types of antibiotics over the years, it's gotten into our rainwater because people have been washing them down the toilet or down the sink or they use them and they go to the restroom. And so now we have antibacteria uh, antibacterial properties in our water. So you want to filter your water, get the antibiotics out, get the chlorine out. I use this filter when I'm traveling and I'm traveling right now, but if you can use something that removes chlorine and fluoride and glyphosate and toxic chemicals, including the antibiotics, then your immune system is going to be much healthier. So I will filter my water and then I will add the good electrolytes back in by using an unrefined salt and unrefined salts are full of minerals, which are necessary for your DNA to function, for your enzymes to function. And because of the use of these, these herbicides on all of these conventional uh, crops, the, these herbicides are at least one in particular, which is, most widely used, which is glyphosate. It is a mineral chelator. So it destroys all the minerals in the soil. So your food has no minerals in it. And we need these minerals in order to be able to absorb water and to be able to function properly. And we're 66 to 72% water and we want to be hydrated. So staying hydrated will help keep your immune system healthy. And so I add the minerals back into my water after it's been purified because it is just like the antibiotics. It's a filter is non-selective. So it will get rid of all the bad things, but it will also remove the good things as well. So you want to add the good back in. Uh, and if you're drinking empty water, it's because your body's going to be pulling minerals from your body in order to process this water. So, the word electrolyte, which I'm sure many of you have heard, it's simply a fancy medical term for the word salt, but no, all these salts are different. So you want to get an old mined salt like Himalayan or Bolivian Rose, or there's a, a brand out of Utah that's uh, called Real, and they will have color in them. And these are old oceans before pollution, before our world was depleted of minerals. And and they were sealed up by most of them volcanic activity. And so these are mine salts. So they're going to have more nutrients in them than the ocean salt today. And it will be free of the mercury. We've got so many toxins in our ocean today, like mercury and plastic. A lot of people are getting mercury toxicity from having salt from the, the oceans today. And also any white refined salt, has usually been bleached and had all the minerals taken out. So it's really not <laughs> electrolyte packed anyway. So you want to get ones that if you're going to spend money on this, buy ones that are actually real uh, mineral rich salts. So, you know, many of these will have natural iodine in them that do support your thyroid and can help uh, offset uh, some of these toxic chemicals that can harm your thyroid. So you want to support your thyroid, uh, have probiotics. You can use uh, other fermented drinks uh, like kombucha. Um, another one is apple cider vinegar. This one's raw. 
unrefined, unprocessed, and it has the mother in it. So this is a really great thing to have in your medicine cabinet or in your kitchen. I use it all the time. And you can drink a little bit of this. You can put a teaspoon of it in your glass of water that you've remineralized. You're purified and remineralized. And this will give you probiotics. It will raise your pH. And it will uh, also help you detoxify from some of these toxic chemicals like the herbicides that are put on these commercial crops. So really great uh, thing to keep in your kitchen pantry. And, you know, if you're a restaurant owner or a store owner, you might think about maybe putting on the menu uh, some elixirs or healthy drink mixes. Like you could do a apple cider vinegar and raw honey kind of tea uh, that would help your customers and help them have healthier choices on the menu. And then you could also do a turmeric tea. So like a turmeric powder, which is packed with antioxidants. And uh, I actually love this. And I have a cup of this every afternoon and I have it combined with organic, freshly ground black peppercorns. And then I add a little bit of my healthy, pure coconut oil to that because studies show that when you combine turmeric with black pepper and oil, you, it actually works like a thousand times more effectively in your body. So this is a, a really great easy recipe to boost your immune system and help you feel uh, much better. And also uh, omega-3s are really great. And a recent study came out that showed that plant-based omega-3s are much more absorbable and much more powerful and easier for your body to utilize than animal or creature based like fish oils and excuse me one of my favorite ones is this hemp oil which has more omega has a high amount of omega-3s but it also has vitamin e in it which is a really great uh, detoxifier for your body and it's it's very important and also it's high in protein and so this is a good one and that's cold pressed organic hemp seed oil. You can also use flaxseed oil, but those need to be kept refrigerated. So, you know, those are some of my top tips for boosting your immune system, but really fear puts us in fight or flight mode. So, you know, one of my recommendations is turn off the news. And if you have a restaurant or a hotel or something like that, I would reconsider having fear mongering, blasting about, you know, contamination and things blasting out in your facility. And you want to put people at ease and take them out of the fight or flight mode. Because when you're in fight or flight mode, you panic, uh, you get all fear based, and then you, your body, it shuts down its immune system and it gets ready for like a war. So you want your immune system to be as healthy and strong as possible. So you want to, you know, Put everybody at calm and ease. Having plants in your environment can make your environment more joyful. And studies have shown that being around nature, it actually boosts your immune system and helps you feel better. So, you know, encourage people to get out in nature, to be around trees. These terpenes that these trees and these plants put off have been shown to quite literally boost your immune system. It's like a healing mechanism from the earth's environment, which is fantastic. And then getting out in the sunshine without sunscreen on is very, very important. And I say without sunscreen is because the sun, when it hits our skin, it, uh, it's the cholesterol in our body that turns that into vitamin D. And vitamin D is a pro-hormone. It's throughout the body and it is absolutely necessary for maintaining health. And preventing cancer. In fact, a uh, lack of vitamin D is tied to all kinds of diseases like 27 types of cancer and also diabetes. So you want to get as much sunshine as possible on your skin so that you can get that vitamin D. When the sunlight hits your skin without sunscreen, then it also makes sulfates in, in your body. There's an enzyme in your body that makes the sulfate and the sulfate and the cholesterol partner up and create this amazing healing partnership 
that goes all throughout your body like a symphony, creating health and carrying oxygen to all parts of your cells. And this, these sulfur compounds that partner up with cholesterol, that is a magical combination and really uh, something valuable to know. When you have on sunscreen, you are not able to make vitamin D and or the sulfate. So you're really, I think in many ways, harming your health by wearing these toxic sunscreens. And according to Dr. Stephanie Seneff and also Dr. Elizabeth Plourd, who has written quite a few books on the hazards of sunscreens and how they should actually be treated as a hazardous material uh, are, are quite good. And the fact that it is also toxic to aquatic life is really important to know. So uh, Dr. Seneff says that the, the use of sunscreen and the rise in skin cancer go up exactly the same and that she thinks there's a correlation there. And so does Dr. Elizabeth Floyd also. So there's, you know, a couple of things that I do and I get sun, sunshine on my body as much as possible every day. And of course, it only makes the vitamin D and the sulfates on skin that's exposed to the sun. So, you know, get out and uh, really get as much at least 20 minutes a day if you can. It's also important to have it in your eyes. There's something healing about having sunlight through your eyes every day. So if you wear glasses or contact lenses or something that would block that, you might want to take them off now and then and uh, just get some sunlight in your eyes. Another thing I use in my house that I've researched like crazy is a air decontamination machine and as you can see, this kills 99.9% .9 of virus, mold, bacteria, fungus, things like that. And so there are machines that make these. And I went and spent three days in a room with the scientist, him explaining to me why this works and why this machine is actually effective in eliminating toxic virus, bacteria, uh, fungus, mold in your environment. <laughs> easily with with no toxic chemicals and no work which i absolutely love and so i've been using these for many many years and uh, since health and nutrition is my business and oxygen's our main nutrient that we need i i think this is a critical component and so i've been using these for years and have my kids using them and i do recommend them and i'm a distributor so if anybody wants any information on this i'd be happy to send that to you these are made in the united states with u.s military parts so there's uh, nothing that has to be brought in from china and uh, these machines are also meant to last you know 20 years so um, they have they've been approved by the FDA for use in medical facilities because they kill staph infection as well. And they would keep the circulation of germs from going around your environment. And you can put an induct one where it works with the air conditioning system. And uh, that's just really important and a, and a good thing to know. And so uh, this is a hydroxyl maker. It actually puts out hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is the number one antioxidant. And oxygen, of course, is necessary for life. And you can't get oxygen into your cells without hydrogen. And so this makes your environment much more bioavailable for oxygen. And uh, I am a certified international wildlife rehabber. And one of the reasons I've researched this is because wildlife heals faster and quicker as do people when there is an abundance of oxygen and so i would had to get a prescription from a veterinarian for an oxygen machine which was expensive and then it also can be flammable and catch fire and so uh, when i found this hydroxyl maker i found it's actually more effective easier and it's not flammable and it's less expensive. So, you know, some of these are, are really great. And it also gets rid of odor. So anybody that owns a hotel or a restaurant, you've had, you know, people burn something or uh, smoke in a room that is a, a, something you can't get rid of. 
this machine, this system, which is patented, will actually actually remove all of these odors, odors, virus, bacteria, fungus, mold from the air, but also from fabrics like bedding, uh, curtains, rugs, things like that, and is very effective. But it will remove odor in paint and in fabrics as well and permanently. So, you know, that's been a, a really great part of this uh, air decontamination machine. So uh, I'd love to hear your comments. Please uh, send me questions or, or uh, suggestions. Uh, and if you want to know more about the air machine, uh, please give me a call or email and I'll put my information down below. And uh, I hope you uh, can you know, get outside, have some fun, add some joy to your life, and boost your immune system. Now, they've really shown that being happy and laughing and, and being joyful will boost your immune system in a huge way. In fact, there's probably over 300 valid studies that show that laughter has cured many diseases, including cancer. So, you know, create a joyful, happy environment and avoid this fear mongering and you know, turn off that news that is just harping at worry, worry, worry and creating this. And I do believe that, you know, our bodies, you give it the right tools and it can do miraculous things. Uh, I'm 65 and I you know, never get sick and I haven't been to a medical doctor. I, I, I my own personal doctor retired at least 18 years ago and I never bothered to get another doctor because I never get sick. But I do things to boost my immune system to keep me healthy. And then of course, just eating organic, healthy, whole fruits and vegetables on a, on a daily basis is really important because it's packed with antioxidants and vitamin C. Vitamin C is incredibly healing for our body. And so, you know, those are some, some really great, uh, easy, inexpensive things that you can do to support you and your family. And I wish you wonderful health. And I will come back to you soon with some more healthy tips.